Hey Pokemon and Duel Champions, what's going on? It's Darkblaze here, and welcome to the Season 2 finale of this channel. So, to wrap up Season 2, it's another crossover between Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! So a while back in the 50 episode special, I did a crossover where I showed you 50 Pokemon that resembled 50 Yu-Gi-Oh! monsters. Now, a lot of them were Performa Pals, but uh, what are you gonna do? But today, I'm gonna be doing something similar again where I showcase 50 Yu-Gi-Oh! spells and traps that could be potential Pokemon moves in the future. So, what we're gonna do is there is some criteria that these cards need to fall under. First off, the card name can only be one or two words, as that is the limit for most Pokemon moves and abilities. Second, the image of the card itself has to resemble a Pokemon move that already exists and could be potentially modified in the future. And then on top of it, when I discuss these cards, not only am I going to resemble uh, the move itself similar to the card, I also need to discuss the power of this move, if this move is physical, special, or if it gives a status condition, and what the move would actually do in the game and in the anime. So with all of that being said, and now that we know the criteria and what the discussion will be about, be sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe to join the Champion Squad today if you're new to the channel, and share this video with a friend, and let me know down in the comments if you will disagree or agree with these moves, and if you think the move really isn't too convincing, such as maybe Typhoon, a trap card being a Pokemon move in the future, be sure to let me know if you agree or disagree down in the comments below. And with all that being said, cue the intro. We're gonna start with our spell cards first, and first up we have Cold Wave. Now this is a very old spell card, so if you haven't seen it before, I don't blame you. Anyway, I can see this card turning into a very weak ice type move, maybe doing about roughly 30-40 damage. So I can see it doing that and looking very similar to the move Icy Wind. So I can see it looking similar to that, and I can also see it being a status move where it just has maybe about 60 accuracy, but if it lands, it automatically freezes the opponent. So I can see it doing that. Next up we have Excel Light, and I can see this being a priority type fairy move, looking very similar to Dazzling Gleam, except the beam of light would cover the Pokemon, and then you would just charge right in, similar to using Aqua Jet. I can see this doing about maybe 40 to 60 damage, and maybe having about 75-80 accuracy. Next up we have Berserker Crush, and I can see this definitely being a weaker fighting type move, doing about roughly maybe 50 damage, but it can hit consecutively with a max of 5 times, and it does just that. Then we have Burst Return, so this obviously is going to be a fire type move, and I can definitely see this being a similar move to Last Resort, however, when this move gets used, it's basically just going to knock out the opponent. If it hits, it knocks out the opponent, I can see this being a one hit KO move, and you have to use all your other moves first in order to use Burst Return. So it basically knocks out your opponent, I freaking love this, I think it would have base power of 100. And that's Burst Return. Next up is Bubble Barrier, so we're actually going to have a protective water type move. So I can see, definitely see this being a water type move, it would be protective, and it definitely would protect against all status conditions, and also cut maybe special attacks in half maybe, or maybe cut physical attacks in half, I don't know, but it's definitely a protective move I can see being made, just bubble barrier, just imagine bubbles surrounding your Pokemon, that would be amazing. Next up we have Cosmic Flare, and I can definitely see this maybe being a dragon type move, since it's the attack of Stardust Dragon, or this would be possibly a psychic or fairy type move, and it would definitely be a powerhouse move. I can definitely see him have 80 to 95 power with maybe 90 accuracy. I can definitely see it doing that, and it would just wreck. I can just see this thing wrecking, and I can also see this thing possibly even causing confusion. Next is Cyclone Blade, and this is automatically a flying type move, this thing needs to have base 100 power just because of the name, maybe 85 or 95 power, and maybe 80 to 95 accuracy. I can just see this thing causing massive damage to your opponent, and if it rains, I can also see this thing not missing. So I can see it with one of those lower accuracy moves actually, maybe 60 accuracy, but its accuracy is perfect in the rain. Then we have Galaxy Storm. So Galaxy Storm, I really don't know what this would look like, honestly, um, but I do know that this move would cause massive damage, and I can see this being 
a very powerful fairy type move, maybe even a psychic type move, but I'm gonna lean towards more towards fairy, and I can see this causing massive damage, maybe even having 95 power, and being a move only usable in misty terrain. Next up we have Galaxy Wave and Galaxy Cyclone, I'm gonna do them at the same time because they're very similar to Galaxy Storm, so I can also see these being psychic or fairy type moves, but I can see them being weaker versions of Galaxy Storm, so you would learn each of them and level up. First Galaxy Wave, then Galaxy Cyclone, and then Galaxy Storm. Next we have Gravity Lash, so this would definitely be a psychic type move. I can see this doing double damage against fighting type moves obviously, but I can also see this being able to hit Pokemon with Levitate and then getting rid of that Levitate ability. I can see that just working amazingly and I can see this move maybe being physical or special. I can, it can go either way just because it's psychic and it's a gravity lash, I don't know, maybe physical. But anyway, this is what I see the move doing. Next up we have Mage Power, so this is automatically a psychic type move. Now, this move would definitely be a status move, and it would definitely raise up special attack, maybe physical attack as well, and I could see it even raising a bit of your speed. But this would be a huge stat boosting move to any of your psychic type Pokemon or any Pokemon that can learn this move. Next up, we have Magical Meltdown, which has to be either psychic or fairy type, and it is an Oko move. It is going to knock out your opponent with one hit, and it can have massive power. I see it maybe base 100 or base 120 power, but a bit of lower accuracy being maybe 75 accuracy or even 65 accuracy. But if this move lands, it is going to cause massive damage and it would cause either recoil or you would have to wait and recharge. Next we have Megamorph. So I want this move to be similar to Belly Drum, so either a fighting or a normal type move, maybe even psychic if you want to, but it's definitely gonna be a stat move and it's definitely right away going to double up your attack points and maybe even double up your defense. Either way, you're getting a massive stat boost. Then we have Molten Destruction, so this is also going to be a one-hit KO fire type move, which I don't think we've ever had before. So I can see Molten Destruction being a 5 PP move with base 120 power and accuracy of about 80. So this move is just automatically gonna hit. Maybe I should lower the accuracy because it's a no-co move, so maybe 50 accuracy, and I think this move would just cause massive damage. Next up, we have Night Beam. So this is automatically gonna be a dark type move, and I can see it hitting opponents that vanish for one turn, meaning Pokemon that use Fly or use Shadow Force or uh, Phantom Force, I can see Night Beam automatically hitting those Pokemon regardless if they have vanished or not. Next up is Neutron Blast, so I want this to be maybe a Psychic type move, maybe a Fairy type move, I don't know, you guys gotta let me know in the comments, but this move is going to be one of the stronger moves that can only be learned by friendship. So this move takes massive friendship to learn, so it would be learned later in the game, but it causes massive damage. This would be similar to Hyper Beam and similar to Giga Impact, so you would have to recharge, but this move being either Psychic or Fairy, maybe even Normal, is going to cause immense damage. This move could even get the electric type if you so wished. Next up we have Photon Veil. So Photon Veil is either going to be a Psychic or Fairy, and there are sure are a lot of Fairy and Psychic type moves on this list. But anyway, Photon Veil would definitely be a protective move, and it can work definitely in double battles. In a single battle, this would protect your one Pokemon from any stat moves from your opponent. But in a double battle, it can protect you and the ally Pokemon you are fighting with. So I can see this being a very versatile move, and it's also Psychic or Fairy type, depending on which one you like more. Next up, we have Power Bond. So this can be either a normal fighting, possibly, or a Psychic or a Fairy type move. And Power Bond, I can see this working fabulously in double battles, as the Pokemon, both Pokemon fighting, would end up sharing their attack stats and boosting their attack stats based off of each other. I'm not sure if that really made a whole lot of sense, but basically it is an attack boosting move, or maybe even a special attack boosting move. Next up is Rainbow Veil, so yeah, automatically fairy type move. I can see this again being a status protecting move, and I can also see this blocking the power of special attacks as well, cutting it in half. So this move would be tremendously useful, and I think I would really like it. I think it would look very, very pretty. Next up is Seed Cannon, so our first grass type move on the list. And basically, I just see this move being a powered up version of Bullet Seed. So I think three hits minimum, five at max, and Seed Cannon would just do double the damage that a Bullet Seed would normally do. Next up is Shield Crush. So this is actually 
a not a physical or a special move maybe more of a special move actually but what this would basically do is it would break through any protective move spiky shield or protect barrier reflect it breaks through them and then it still damages the opponent so i think brick break is the move where it breaks through those defensive moves but shield crush will break it and cause damage so I can see this being very versatile in a Pokemon battle. Next up is Solar Recharge. So I see this being more of a fairy or a normal type move. And basically the brighter the sun with this one, the more life points you can restore. Excuse me, HP that you can restore. So I see this move being a normal or fairy type move and just getting back a few HP. Next up is Skydive Scorcher. So uh, yeah, this is a fire type move and I see this having base 90 power. It needs it. 95 accuracy this just is gonna hurt so much and upon being hit with this move you get the burn status so yeah i can see this move being incredibly awesome this could even be actually a z move i think that this would be perfect for a z move and if you don't agree then fight me in the comment section about it now nah, i'm just joking it's my opinion next up is silver wing so this could be either an attack move or it could be a status move so it can go either way, but Silver Wing would be definitely a flying type move or a steel type move, which would increase defense and would do decent damage, maybe 80 power, 85 accuracy, and it would just be a very strong move. Next up is Thunder Crash. So obviously this is an electric type move, and I can see this doing an immense amount of damage if it's raining. It would never miss if it's raining, so it would have lower accuracy like Thunder, but Thunder Crash would be like a flame burst as well. So Thunder Crash would hit one Pokemon, but also do a bit of side damage to the other Pokemon in a double battle. And in a triple battle, it would hit the other two Pokemon as well. Next up is Venom Shot. Venom Shot would automatically be a poison type move. I can see this being one of the weaker poison type moves, honestly. Maybe doing about 50 to 75 power. And it's definitely a special attack move. And definitely upon being hit, it causes poison. So this would be a definitely a useful move for any poison type on your team and it would just be amazing to use. Not amazing to deal with, but amazing to use. Then we arrive at the spell card Twin Twisters. So this would definitely be an amazing move. I think it would be boosted if it's raining and Twin Twisters I can see working great in a double battle because in a double battle Twin Twisters would hit both Pokemon. However, in a single battle Twin Twisters would actually hit the one Pokemon twice. So I can feel this move having 75 power, maybe 70, maybe 80 at max, and maybe having about 75 to 85 accuracy, so it would be a reasonably incredible move. And then the last spell card that we are going to talk about is Neos Force. Neos Force is automatically either a fairy move, a psychic move, or a fighting type move. So this move will cause immense damage. I can see this being similar to Power Up Punch. I can see it being similar to Drain Punch. And it would just cause massive damage. I think this move would never miss. This move would be a special move hands down. And it would have base 100 power. It is just incredibly strong in my opinion as a potential Pokemon move. And I can see it even confusing the opponent upon being hit. And does anyone else think that this picture right here looks like Naruto using Rasengan? I'm just saying that this is what this looks like. But anyway, that wraps up the spell cards. Moving on to our traps, we're gonna start with Mirror Force. So I can see this automatically being a psychic type move, and it would be similar to Mirror Coat and Mirror Move. So with Mirror Force, I can see this reflecting back any status condition that's given to you. I can see Mirror Force lasting for actually about five turns, similar to, you know, Reflect or Barrier or Light Screen and it would bounce back any status conditions your opponent tries to give to you. So I can see that card doing this. Next up is Burnout, and I can see this being a amazing self-killing fire type move, but if it lands, it's gonna knock out your opponent with one shot. So another Oko fire type move, but a self-killing one at that, with a base power of maybe 90, 95, or even 120 since it's an Oko move. But the accuracy is gonna be a bit lower, maybe around 60. Next up is Clay Charge, so actually our first ground type move on the list. And Clay Charge is basically gonna be a ground type version of Takedown. So it's gonna do massive damage, about 85 to 95. However, it is gonna cause some recoil damage, so just be aware of that. Next up is Crimson Fire. So this is going to be an immensely strong fire type move. This thing has 95 power, and if this thing lands, you're getting burned. And 
it's gonna burn you good. I can just see this thing being immensely powerful special attack. However, I feel if you use it, you should get a decrease in your special attack a bit, just like with Overheat. However, I feel like this would be a stronger version to Overheat. Next up is Draining Shield. Draining Shield would be a protective move similar to Spiky Shield. However, with Spiky Shield, if you hit Spiky Shield, you take damage. However, when Draining Shield gets put up, it protects you by blocking whatever move was coming, but then you'll regain some HP by damaging the opponent. So that's what I can see this move doing. Next up is Edge Hammer, either a fighting or a steel type move actually. And I can see this just being a great maybe two to five time hitting move with base power of about 60 to 75 with an accuracy maybe of about 60 or 80 maybe. But I can see this doing pretty good damage, maybe a weaker steel or fighting type move. Next up is Crystal Avatar. So I can see this being a steel type move, maybe a normal type move, but Crystal Avatar would basically be a better version of Substitute. So not only do you put up a Substitute to protect yourself, but you can still use a move every other turn. So you put up Crystal Avatar, you wait, next turn is Flamethrower, and then two turns later you can use maybe Thunderbolt or something. So I can see this move doing that and also protecting you from any status condition. Next up is Light Spiral. So Light Spiral would definitely be an OP like fairy type move or a psychic type move and it's just gonna annihilate. I can see this actually maybe not an OP uh, fairy type or psychic type move. I can see Light Spiral being similar to Fire Spin. So it's a fairy or psychic type move that continuously causes damage like Fire Spin. And for its power I can see maybe 60 to 75 power. So I can see that working. Next up is Meteor Flare. Meteor Flare I'm gonna say has to be OP. I can see it either being a dragon type move or a fire type move that has to be learned with high enough friendship. So I can see that working out, maybe drop your special attack after you use it, but it's definitely going to be OP. Next up is Magnet Force, so a steel type move here on the list, and I can see this maybe bumping up special defense, bumping up defense, maybe bumping up speed, definitely going to be a stat move where it bumps up your stats, maybe all your stats like Ancient Power. I can see this move being incredibly useful. Next up is Magnet Conversion, so this move would power up an ally steel type or just any ally Pokemon, while it also powers up your own stats. So again, another stat boosting move, but I feel like this one maybe would double all your stats. Next up is Mirror Gate. So with Mirror Gate, basically you set it up, it's a priority move, it goes up first, kind of like uh, Shell Trap or Trap Shell, whatever it is, wh whichever order the words go in. Um, but I can see this being a priority move, going first, setting up, and whatever attack your opponent throws at you, or whatever status condition they throw at you, you throw it right back. You don't take any damage, it's protective, and it throws it right back. Next up is Mirror Wall. Mirror Wall is going to be another protective move on this list, and it's going to stand around for about 5 turns, similar to Burial or Reflect or even Light Screen. And what it's going to do is it's going to, every time your opponent attacks, not only does it protect you, but it drops down their attack and or special attack. So that's what this move would do. Next up is Obliterate, which would potentially become the strongest normal type move, or even the strongest fighting type move. It would be an Oko move, you'd have to recharge, it'd have lower accuracy, insane power about 150 or even 120, and it, it would just obliterate your opponent, hence the name, Obliterate. And then you can even fight your opponent in the Pokemon game and yell, Sceptile, Obliterate! Tell me that would not be cool. Tell me that would not be cool. That would be the most dope thing ever. Next up is Pixie Ring, so obviously a fairy type move, and this is basically going to be the fairy version to Aqua Ring. So get back some HP, and yeah, n nothing more to say about that. Next up is Proton Blast, so I can see this being a fairy or a psychic type move, and man, why there's so many psychic and fairy type moves on this list. But anyway, I can see Proton Blast hitting maybe two to five times, and maybe being the fairy or psychic version to Bullet Seed. Next up is Shadow Spell, and yes, I realize this is a trap card, but this is the anime version, and in the anime, it was a spell. So I'm just using this picture, I know it's a trap. But Shadow Spell would basically look like Embargo, however, it would prevent your opponent from using any special attack, as long as this move is in play, and it would last for about two to five turns. So that's what Shadow Spell would do, and I can see it being really annoying. Next up is Spirit Force. So I can see this being an all or nothing move, and what it's gonna do is it can be a self-killing move possibly, but what it would do is any Pokemon that comes in neck has max attack or a, d a defense, max speed, whatever. It is a spirit force would be a move that increases the stats of any other Pokemon that comes out, or it can boost all of your stats and just make you an OP Pokemon. I don't know, this move would be incredibly good though. Next up is Tornado Wall, which would be, actually, it'd be a protective flying type move. We've never had one of those. So Tornado Wall would actually never miss in, Tornado Wall would be a protective move that blocks, actually, rock type moves really, 
I can see this being so strong it blocks special attack rock type moves and Tornado Wall would just be immensely awesome. There's no way to break it, it lasts for like 3 to 5 turns and it would just be amazing. And then last up, I actually forgot a spell card a while ago. The last card we need to talk about is Junk Barrage. So I can see this being definitely a fighting type move and I can see it being one that is just immensely powerful, maybe being a one hit KO. I can see this doing incredible damage, maybe 90 base power, good accuracy, and maybe having 10 PP. So I can see this just doing incredible damage, maybe even being a Z move itself. Other moves on this list I can see being a Z move include Cosmic Flare, maybe Obliterate definitely would be one, Crimson Fire, maybe Edge Hammer. So those are some examples of cards that could even be Z moves. So there we go, 50 Yu-Gi-Oh spells and traps that could be potential Pokemon moves. So there we go, champions, that is 50 Yu-Gi-Oh spells and traps that could be potential Pokemon moves in the future. Now, of course, this is just my opinion on these cards and on these moves and what they could be. So, of course, you're gonna have to let me know down in the comments how you would change up these moves or what other spells and traps you think could be potential Pokemon moves in the future. And let me know if you agree or disagree with anything I said in this video. So, as I said before, this is the Season 2 finale, so are you wondering if I'm gonna stop making videos? Well, if you are, the answer is no. I'm just taking a short hiatus from YouTube. I won't be making videos for a while, hopefully uh, no more of a month off of YouTube, but I will be using the time to make a huge library of content, fix things up with the channels like thumbnails, tags, etc. So I will just be doing that. I'll be making the channel so amazing, and just when Season 3 starts, it's going to be top-notch quality videos, top-notch everything. I'll take all the knowledge I've gained over the past year about YouTube and implement that into Season 3. So the videos are going to be a lot better, just everything is going to be a lot better overall. And I hope you guys will enjoy that, I hope you guys will appreciate that. Um, I'm really sorry that I'm taking this time off, but it needs to be done for the betterment of the channel. However, during the break, I will be working on my Pokemon Evil Team video, and I hope that comes out, you know, maybe in the next few weeks before I launch Season 3, or even at the start of Season 3. So you can look forward to that real soon, I'm going to be working on that. I've got a ton of new ideas coming out, definitely a lot more crossovers are coming to the channel, and a very special kind of video that I am very excited to introduce. A lot more new series related to Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh! will be coming to the channel. And, of course, if there's any new content you'd like to see on the channel, a specific crossover, a specific kind of video, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And with all that being said, thanks for tuning in to the Season 2 finale of the channel. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because there's more awesome things coming in the future. And share this video with a friend so they know what's going on, so they can see the fun content as well, and voice their opinion in the comments below. And with all of that being said, thanks for watching. And until next time, I hope you guys are training hard, picking up a deck, and until the next time, as always, I will catch you guys later.